Hello everyone, welcome to our final capstone presentation video. Our project was building a needle and syringe dispenser for the vet med hospital. Our faculty mentor was Ramada Pitaparty and our sponsor was Dr. Amy Koenig at the vet med hospital. So for the syringe dispenser, we needed a design that was able to be wall mounted and store a week's worth of syringe, syringes in the vet med school while being easy to disinfect and easy to operate. So for the more specific design requirements, we determined a week's worth of syringes and needles of each size to be 25 items. We're dealing with 25, 22, 20, 18 gauge syringes and three CC, six CC, 12 CC. These do not need to be separated from the packaging and the dispenser needs to be wall mounted and back to the mechanical design that is to simplify everything so nothing will get broke and there's no need for extra runs to the wall mounted device. Yeah, so to develop a final product, um, you obviously have to go through a design uh, uh, like kind of history and in a brainstorming phase. Um, and as you can see here, these are a couple of pictures from our brainstorming phase. Um, we generated about 10 to 15 designs that kind of met Dr. Koenig's requirements. And um, with all these uh, starting designs, we kind of vetted them and then refined them into what you can see here. Um, the design in the first top two pictures is one that we kind of stuck with for a while. It was a vending machine design that um, was very modular in nature. It was simple to use and it was very reliable. Um, we ended up not going with it due to mostly cost restriction and also timing you know, with coronavirus and all that. Um, these bottom two designs, uh, that's another one that we came up with that we kind of got pretty far on, far enough to make a physical model. Um, and this one didn't quite make it because it didn't meet uh, a few of Dr. Koenig's uh, more specific requirements. So, you know, if the design doesn't meet the requirements, then we can't go forward with it. Um, we eventually made it toward this final design, as you can see here. Um, you can see our first kind of sketch in the top left, our preliminary 3D model in the top right, and then our final 3D model in the bottom three pictures. Um, it has these general kind of um, achievements in that it allows the vet med workers to obtain the syringes without contaminating the other syringes. That's really the most important aspect. Um, it's easily mountable, easy to load in stock, it's transparent to see when the syringes and needles are low. Uh, and finally, uh, for manufacturing and scalable purposes, um, it works well in both those settings because you know the materials are cheap and it's relatively simple, like easy to put together. So this slide here actually shows our finished prototype. And as you can see, we use wood and acrylic for this prototype because one, due to COVID, we couldn't we couldn't ship a lot of products in. So like a lot of the plastics couldn't be manufactured and shipped to us in a timely manner. And two, because this was this was much more cost effective. Um, but overall, you've got a you've got a dispenser here that is a wooden frame with a door that is hinged on the left side, and that door is uh, magnetic, so that when you go to load, which you'll see in a, in a further video in just a second. When you go to load these syringes and these devices, you can just stack them in neatly and then you can close and there's no there's no chance of that opening accidentally. So here is actually this video of, of us loading the device. And you can see here towards the end that one of the syringes don't actually stay in the compartment like it should. And that's mo mostly due to the fact that we didn't have all of the right size syringes in this particular example because we couldn't get back into the vet med hospital obviously due to the COVID-19 outbreak but you can see here that there's a little piece of rubber at the bottom that generally keeps the syringes from falling out and they keep them coming in one at a time so that's that's the gist of our design there and then as far as cost goes our prototype only costs us $125 which in the grand scheme of things is relatively cheap and we wanted to make a plastic prototype, but like I said, we couldn't get the, the plastic in due to timing and due to the infectious uh, nature of COVID-19. Uh, but that prototype would have probably cost us around $250, but we believe on a large scale uh, manufacturing scope that we could get this down to $30 to $50 per unit. And so lastly, on to kind of our conclusions and potential impacts, you know, first and foremost is it was successful. We were able to build a product and a prototype that was within our requirements and worked effectively. And it also was nice that we were able to do it at such a functional price and cheap. It gave us a lot of maneuverability to try other things going forward. On top of this, it's very flexible. We have different type, we can modify it for different types of needles and different types of syringes 
without much hassle and it's super easy to use. It's hardly any training for any doctors in the room. It's straightforward, very simple, which is a good thing to have in the operating room. Next, one of the big things is, you know, going forward, given the COVID-19 crisis, we really learned how relevant this kind of project is. We didn't know back in September when we started, we'd be dealing with such a prevalent topic of a widespread infectious disease and how critical it is to be able to have individually dispensed items that can help prevent the contamination of other things and spread diseases in such a sense. So this is some of the big takeaways and going forward that these needles and syringes can apply into the vet med hospital and all of their clean room surgeries. Thank you all for watching. We really appreciate you taking the time to watch our video.